இப்போ காசி வயலில் மேற்கொண்டு அத்தியனம் பண்ணுறது நான் போயிட்டுருக்கேன் இந்த டைமில் நான் கல்யாணம் ஆகணும் இல்லைன்னா அத்தியனம் பண்ணணுமா புரியாது எனக்கு அதனால் நீங்களே ஏதாவது ஒழி சொல்லுவோம் கேட்டுருக்கலாம் இப்போ நீங்கள் காசி அஸ்டர் போகணும்னு சொல்கிறேனா இருக்குன்னு சொல்கிறேனா எப்படி ஹிண்ட் பண்ணுறேன் So we actually went to medical school together and we uh, we had a few common friends so that's how we actually got to know each other. When we started working together and uh, it was actually during when we were working together in the pediatrics department and I saw how she was with kids and she was extremely loving and very caring and she used to also like come out come out of the way and talk to me and it was just very nice so I started to realize that yeah she she's very special. So during the four weeks, which led to my being sure, was um, I mean he was really he's a very understanding guy, and so I knew, and he had all the qualities which actually I would want in a person. So he had ticked all the boxes in my head. So I was like, you know, I'd eventually like fall in love with him, but he's too good to let go. <laughs> so then I said yes. Also, I told my parents pretty early on. I told my mother, so she I would like ask her, and she would tell me give me advice. So. <laughs> I was, I was pretty scared. Uh, I, I, I'd been thinking about it for a few weeks, and uh, finally, it wasn't the most optimal place. But I actually ended up asking her out at the OBG OPD <laughs> because that was the only place I could make it, so that it didn't seem awkward or she didn't she didn't find it suspicious. Unfortunately, but no fancy story. She played hard to get for a few weeks, and uh, she. She said, uh, I asked her out for dinner, she said no, she'll just have coffee for an hour. She just wanted to be friends initially and she wanted to figure out things in her head, which I completely agreed with, so we took it slow. Yeah. 